ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. Guys, we're here with Tracy with Husqvarna. Is it Husqvarna or Husqvarna? Depends if you're in U.S. or Sweden. Yeah, Sweden. Sweden's Husqvarna. Right. Right, right. So the big focus here at the GIE, it's not GIE anymore, the Equip Expo has been battery-powered, battery-powered products. You got something really cool behind us, so tell us about what you got. Sure. This is a prototype of our residential zero-turn mower, battery-operated, has a lot of great technology, including the battery. We have on-stick controls to be able to start and stop your engine. We have also the ability to engage your blades. We have a new suspension system that will allow for a smooth ride, customizable. Yeah. That's really cool. Tell me about this. Is this, this. This is customizable to the weight of the operator? Absolutely. So we use a four bar link suspension that can be adjusted based on the different suspensions. So these will be independently adjustable, giving us 10 different options. Gotcha. So based on the weight of the operator, they want, may want to go more to the front with the adjustment or more to the back given the ability for the seat to travel just vertically yeah. and not jostle the, the operator. Now, the battery system here, is this the same It's in your commercial grade equipment? Or? Uh, this will be a little more powerful okay. than what's in the handheld equipment. Gotcha. We have a steel chassis, a really strong machine here, so we'll have the battery power that'll be needed to operate that equipment. Awesome. Guys, it's going electric. The whole world's going electric and it's not an agenda. It's just technology. That's what we're going with. Hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, sneak peek. This is a Husqvarna, what's it called? Zero turn mower, battery operated. Okay, no specific name. You guys don't have a nickname for it? The Excite. The Excite. Because we want everybody to have fun while they're driving it. I'm excited. <laughs> well, thanks, thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Guys, we are in Louisville, Kentucky at the Equip Expo, and I have Chris from Husqvarna. Hey guys, Chris Ricker from Husqvarna. I am the handheld battery product manager for Husqvarna. I'm gonna take you through some of our new battery items with our new Max battery line that's coming out in 2023. And that is the big focus this year with most every manufacturer, isn't it? It's all yes. electric, electric zero turns, autonomous machines, tractors, uh, mowers, all sorts of stuff. So I'm excited about this big chainsaw over here. So this is our new string trimmer for 2023. Uh, Husqvarna owns the Weed Eater brand name and we're bringing it back here for, for this. Husqvarna string trimmer. It's called the Weed Eater. Uh, we still do have the numerical names, 320 IL. This guy is going to be our new string trimmer for 23. Dual direction technology. Uh, boost So wait, mode. wait, wait. You're saying that you can reverse the direction of the spin on the... Absolutely. Depending on which button you press, you can you can go clockwise or counterclockwise. Oh, this nice. is something that's great for mulch, mulch areas, rock beds, making sure that all your grass is thrown in the right direction. You're not making your yard dirtier. You're making it cleaner. And that's something that... that that helps with quite a bit. Nice. Now, this battery system here, this is the uh, prosumer, basically, prosumer grade. Yeah, so this is, our, this is actually our, our residential battery. This one here is a 40 volt, four amp hour. Uh, we have two batteries that go with this line. We have a four, 40 volt, four amp hour, and as you'll see in the chainsaw and the blower and the yeah. walk behind mower. Big boy. That's a 40 volt, seven and a half amp hour platform. Nice. So you'll see in, in some of the different ones here, obviously this one has the four amp hour. The head trimmer also has the four amp hour. Lower, lower power uh, solutions as far as they don't consume as much power. Nice. That's going to have your smaller battery for weight. Um, this is our new hedge trimmer. This is the Hedge Master, and and a lot of some of the first thing that that you'll notice is it kind of looks a little weird, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got three handles here. We have a unique tri-handle design, and really we have four triggers here. We have one here on the handle, and we've got three on all these handles. So what does this mean? You can hold it like a traditional hedge trimmer. You can turn it on its side and use it on its side. And also the great parlor trick is 10 inches of extra reach to get to the back of your hedge. Oh, nice. So awesome. this is something that we came up with. It's got a blade sweeper here to sweep off all your debris off the top of your hedges. Oh, cool. Uh, and then this guy right here, this button right here is an unjam button, backs the blades up. Oh, reversible, so you reversible. can't get that, yeah. So if you get in a tough spot, you can get out with this button. And as all of our products do, the, this arrow here, consistent across all the Max battery platform. A boost mode gives you extra power, up to 3,800 cuts per minute from this guy. Wow, awesome. And Husqvarna's a chainsaw company, yeah, right? Yeah, that's all, it. We're all familiar with Husqvarna chainsaw. Oh, let me turn it around. This is our new guy, the Power Axe. Yeah. 
So we're going with names. It's 350i, but it's, we're going to call it the Power X 18-inch bar, a specific bar for our new battery chainsaw, Husqvarna X-Cut chain, of which you're very familiar with, I'm sure. Seven and a half amp hour battery. This guy is very equivalent to a 40cc gas power output chainsaw, nice. but in a battery. Seven and a half amp hours more torque per pound than a ga than a 40cc chainsaw. Nice. What kind of battery life can we expect out of this? Can I cut a whole pickup truck load of uh, wood with that? Well, I mean, so so you'll probably be able to cut about 34, 35 minutes worth. Gotcha. Uh, with this guy, uh, it's a pretty pretty high power application, pretty high current, obviously in the chainsaw. Uh, so results may vary based yeah. off what you're doing. So you guys uh, kind of matched it up with how much uh, uh, gas a gasoline chainsaw would hold. Really. Yes, that's that that was the goal, um, and also. So I think you know some some of the great things that we've done with design on this product is um, with our pass-through battery design, we're able to keep a lot of that that weight towards the middle of the chainsaw. You know what does that mean? That means you're putting that weight into the wood instead of it pulling back yeah, from you. Yeah, absolutely. And this battery design allows you to be able to do that. Now, is this a battery on both sides here, or is this? So this is this is the same battery. Okay. So what happens is it just passes oh, right through okay, the middle gotcha. of the passes other through. tool. That's really cool. As you cool. can see there. Wow. Ooh, let me see this. The synth, that, that's just crazy. That's a really cool technology. That's how it connects right there. Yep. Awesome. And what's what's cool about this this battery being in the middle here is as as you can see the the motor is actually located in the middle of the chainsaw. Yeah. And what that allows us to do right. is that motor actually pulls air out of the battery. So it'll pull air out of the battery and actively cool your battery while you're using the chainsaw. So you never get into a situation where you're going to overheat or over temp based off of what you're doing. Nice, nice. Cool. And same thing pass through technology pass -through here. Pass through technology yeah. actively cooled through these these hollow tubes right here in the back. This is actually going to be the most powerful handheld blower, gas or battery, when it comes out in 2023. 800, 800 CFM wow. on boost mode, 24 Newtons. About 34, 35 minutes of runtime on normal mode. That's going to be around 11 Newtons, uh, around 500 CFM on a normal mode. Um, right here, as you can see, control through your power button. This is a digital cruise control. Oh. Uh, so you pull, you pull the trigger, you press that button. It's going to remember where you put it. Oh, um, nice. So you don't have to hold the trigger the whole time. No, so for people with not. arthritis and stuff like that, it really makes a difference. Absolutely. And it's not a mechanical mechanical cruise either. I know some of them have that little notch that you yeah. slip through. Yep. Ours is purely digital. And this guy right here, as across everything else, boost mode, this is what gets you your 800 CFM. What kind of warranty are we looking at with these battery powered products and the, and the consumer grade? Homeowner grade product. So, so we're looking at a, about a three-year, three-year warranty for residential. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, if, if it's used for commercial use, about a 90-day warranty. Gotcha. Awesome. And this is finally the the kind of the centerpiece here. Yeah. The the new walk-behind mower, the Lawn Expert. This guy uses two. Two seven and a half amp hour 40 volt batteries that gets you about 75 minutes of runtime. Same design. Nice. So these batteries will work with every product in this lineup. Yes, Good absolutely. Choice. Everything is interchangeable. If you buy a chainsaw, you have a BLI 30, you can use it. You can use it in your lawnmower. If you have a BLI 22, you can use it. Um, the only thing about the BLI 22, if you use it in certain certain products like the, the chainsaw or the blower, obviously it's a smaller battery. You may not get the same same experience, same performance just because gotcha. it's a smaller battery. Cool. Um, uh, this works just like a standard mower, uh, I'm assuming. You just Yes, yeah, standard mower. Uh, you come back here, we have a actually have a user facing uh, display here. Ooh, she lights up too, huh? Yes. Absolutely. And the user facing display kind of gives you all everything that you need here. So these are, these are your warning lights telling me it's got a low battery. There's your temp, te temperature just in case it overheats. Probably won't, but it's there just in case. This lock button is telling you the bail is not engaged. You put that down, a bail is engaged. Okay. And these, these are your three uh, cut modes. So you have a sensing mode. This is probably the mode that 90% of people are going to use. Yeah. Uh, it adjusts just power output based off of the load, high grass, short grass, etc. Nice. It's got a mulching specific specific mulching mode uh, and a boost mode. Awesome. And, and this is important because you can you do all of these things without changing your blade. Zero to four miles an hour. Okay. As so, far okay, as speed, speed. Nice. From, from tortoise to hare and our logos yeah. here. Yeah. You can use one hand or two hand to self-propel. And okay. also for storage, this guy folds up. 
Ah, nice. So up. for a person with limited space. Vertical oh, storage. Super light. And you got a handle here to pick it up. Let's, well, uh, even better. So there's if, if you do need the transport, there's a handle up underneath there. And there's actually a secret handle up underneath here. Oh, so, so if you need to load it in the car or load it in the trailer, you can pay it up from those two awesome. handles. Awesome. What's it look like underneath? Is this an all metal deck? This is a steel deck. It okay. does have some plastic underneath here for, for, for aerodynamics. This is a specially designed blade from our R&D group that helps you be able to do all the different cut modes uh, without having to change your blade. Well, Chris, thanks, man. Thanks yeah, for thank a tour. You. So there's so much stuff here, guys. We couldn't show you every single thing, but we'll have some of this stuff on the farm to test. We're going to see if it's farm tough. You think it's farm tough? <laughs> I, think it, I think it is. All right. We're going to beat the snot out of it on the channel. So. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, th thanks for coming by and thanks yeah, for, uh, for hearing about Max Battery. Yeah, absolutely. I saw the Husqvarna sign. I had awesome. to come. <laughs> awesome. Remember to bring your H game, as we say. That's it. <laughs> thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.